Hey, this is Groucho. You probably wouldn't recognize me from uh, my beard. Looking pretty sharp, aren't I? If I'm sitting around home convalescing with a, a broken leg, well, there's nothing I like to do more. Do some homebrew with Chud. Look at that. Hey, hey what's going hey, on, everybody? Hey. <laughs> Chud's doing some fine extra brewing today. That's right. Uh, it's kind of short notice. I really didn't get to uh, get like a mini mash recipe or something like that. So I picked up the old uh, handy Brewer's Best package for their Visa. Visa. Yeah, we're getting uh, an extract all mixed up here. Yeah, excellent. Chad brought over his own water. He'd want to use my well water, and uh, he's got your, your, your well water was brown. It's brown. <laughs> it's salt. And <laughs> uh, we got all the stuff going on. I, I don't know. We got some chips. Um, <laughs> Those chips are fantastic. <laughs> Kettle chips. New York cheddar. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. So right now. Chud has just taken the malt extracts and he's mixing those in after boiling two gallons of water. What's going to happen next, little Chud? Uh, next, we'll uh, be bring hey, the dump shit all over Margaret's floor. Yeah, Great! Yeah, yeah. Brilliant! I'm glad you came over. Yeah, after this, we'll be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> we'll be uh, bringing the wart up to a boil. And then we'll be adding hops. Yeah. Hey Groucho, I don't think you've ever actually sniffed fresh hops yet. I sniffed yeah. a lot of things, but not fresh hops. Yeah. So. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. All right. It's a beautiful thing. Well, we'll be back in a few minutes uh, when he's letting me sniff his hops. <laughs> so this beard make me look like PB Rick. Oh, no. Hey, we're back. This is Groucho, and we're back to brewing. That's right. Metal. All right, so what do you got, got there, little chud? We've got our wort boiling. Oh, smell the hops. We've got an ounce of Mount Hood. <sighs> this is replacement for something. I don't know. Don't what. pour those bastards and just they just oh, smell no. wonderful. Oh, if you've never, God. okay, if you're a beer fan, maybe yeah. don't homebrew. Yeah. Go to your local homebrew shop and buy an ounce of hops. Just go buy an ounce of hops and stick your nose in it and you won't want to rub it all over your balls or anything think, else. <laughs> I think really you could just take like one of those pellets every day and just walk around with it like this. Yeah, you know, that'd you be know, like I, the I, cure to your common day, well, daily ills. You get, for many people, the hops have actually been said to be a, uh, it's supposed to be really good for you. They used to make hop teas as sort of like a... Um, Aphrodisiac? Well, not necessarily that. It's like, you know, the the cure all snake oil for uh, everything. So okay. I've thought about you know, could you make could you make some sort of like hop dip or something? Like oh, that'd that? be awesome. Good idea. Anyway, let's. Uh, all right. So what do we got going on here, Chad? What's going on with the uh, the we uh, just malt? Got our, we just got our boil started. It was rolling a little. Well, it was rolling until I took the top off a second ago. No, that's still rolling a little bit on this side. Dude. But uh, anyway, so it's four oh one. So these are our initial addition that we're going to boil for an hour. Okay. Let's boil one hour. These in. Is it going to, like, foam up now and all that? Uh, possibly. It could yeah. possibly <laughs> foam up and fuck up your stove. Great. Margaret's going to love this. Love this. Yes. yes. So that's why we have, we have to watch it. And see, look at it. See, look at all the, the beautiful hops on the top. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, isn't it? It it's smells so pretty. so pretty. So pretty. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what that smells like? It smells like going over to Distill the other day. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> all right, the glass is all steamed up on the camera, and we'll be back. Okay, there's like this whole clumsy process going on right now that I do not understand. Chud's got ice. You got ice there. So the, uh, the boiling portion, what we're doing with the board here, is just ended. Mm -hmm. Which means we need to cool it off. Okay. Um, I fortunately forgot to bring anything big enough to uh, put that in normally. I would take this whole pot and uh, set it in into, like a big plastic tub and I have it home and I'll fill up with ice and water. And I'll normally cover the whole thing up to about here. Okay. I don't have that luxury at the moment, so I'm just going to have to use the sink. No, right. What are you looking for? Towel? And, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no. The uh, towel, the hand warmers are uh, over there behind the spoons. Here it goes. So, right now, sitting that in here. Yeah. All right, so let's do that more. A little crack bit of ice. Stove. Yeah. 
Damn. That's just basically ice. The water is sitting there trying to cool it so bad. Yep. So, I'm going to do that. And since it is an extract brew, and uh, we don't have the full volume here, I'm just going to pour. Ooh, that is hot. <laughs> Tell me what that is hot. And pour some cold spring water in there. I'm sure there's a beer geek somewhere who's gonna yell at me about hot side aeration. <laughs> right, let in there to cool it off. Alright. Alright, what you doing now? Uh, right now, we've got this cooling here in the sink. You know, I've uh, popped a little water in the microwave actually. Try to warm it up enough to uh, make it a little yeast starter. You know, never actually tried doing it quite this way. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what temperature the water's going to be at. I've sanitized everything over here, so I'm not making that worse. But... That needs some more help. Normally you would do this on the stove. I mean, this is a totally ghetto way to do it. Ghetto. Are we going to make a mall liquor? This is ghetto brewing, bitch. That's right. Ye slurry. Ye it smells. Slurry. Can you smell it? If I had smell a vision, you could smell it. No, I don't think we could smell it. It smells wonderful. It smells yeah. yeasty. Yeasty. Like your ex-girlfriend. Uh, yeah, more. <laughs> she should have cleaned herself more. Yeah. Uh, Does the body good? Uh, um, so what are you gonna do with this? You gonna dump it in the beer? Or what? I'm gonna dump this in the beer as the the beer starts cooling off a little bit. Start adding a little bit of wort to this, pulled out of there, just so the yeast gets acclimated to mm, the type of flunk nah. it's about to go into. Nah, so it doesn't jump into a cold pool, huh? Yeah, so it doesn't go, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, fuck this, and it doesn't shrivel up and then just like quit doing anything uh, for a while. Okay. Yeah. What, and what else you got going on? You got some sugar? Yeah, this we're not going to use until what? it's time for what? bottling. Oh. No bottling. sugar, this is not an adjunct. Basically, uh, after it ferments in a week or no. so, then I'll mix that in with everything we've got. And Priming we'll sugar. Priming. Oh, yeah, priming. Yeah, English major. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe, just maybe, we'll throw raspberries in it. Maybe. 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 If I can get Margaret's permission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are in the freezer. And then right. it'll either uh, ferment nice with a nice raspberry wheat, or it'll the raspberries may have bacteria in them. Ooh, we'll be on our way to a lambic in three years. They're far fresh. <laughs> so that's very possible. All right. <laughs> All right, so what's going to happen next? You got, you're going to do the yeast in, what, a couple minutes or what? Uh, yeah, a couple minutes. I'll be dumping this in, and then we'll be dumping everything in the fermenter, mm. and then we'll let it sit and ignore it. For how long? It, for, I'll probably come back next week and check on it then. Okay. Cool. That should be good. Right now, Chud is doing the extremely scientific job of measuring gravity. Isaac Newton tried it once with an apple. Chud's doing it with some kind of a tube. Uh-oh. He's going back to the directions. As a man, this is <laughs> never a good thing. No, I'm starting to think my hydrometer is completely whack and reading like ridiculously low. We have low gravity. We should be able to jump ten feet in the air. Should be good for my leg, because it really could use low gravity. Well what makes sense considering we're at Basically, this is supposed to be between 1.048 and 1.052. Yeah? Oh yeah. I've got a reading like 1.4. 1.04. This is, I mean, it's an extract brew. This, there's nothing but two cans of extract and water. Yeah. So that, that's all that's You're putting too much water. Through. So I don't, and this is the second beer I made where the reading comes out low. I haven't matched it against another hydrometer. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to need to get another, another something I can check this by. Ah. Because I have the feeling that, that my readings are coming out completely retarded off. All right. Don't want retarded beer. No, we don't want retarded beer. That'd be horrible. 